I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Grab the wall, wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall off. Hella thick, I want to smash them all now. Uh, if you're new around here. We finally finish creating our character and then chat decides that they want to name my character for me. Yeah, it didn't turn out great. You know how long I waited for my acceptance letter for this shit and you name you make me name Booty Crumbs. I don't even think he looks Booty Crumbs, bro. He looks suave. When do I choose my house, my boy? You're loading up right now? Let's go, Para. Let's join, man. You could probably name your character something fucking cool, but mine is Booty Crumbs. You guys are mad as fuck, bro. The name you have entered contains restricted words. Get got. You can't be Booty Crumbs, bro. It's not transphobic, but it is Booty Crumbs phobic. Chat started asking the question that I knew was going to happen. They asked what house I was going to choose. Obvious answer. I'm gonna join, uh, I think Slytherin, bro. Because whenever I see some dudes, I'd be Slytherin in. Sort of we not only get our green drip, but we also get our first trophy locking us in for the plot. You belong in Slytherin! With our house assigned, we're then able to go to our common room, and let's just say we were having a bit of fun with the door. Yo, look at that, bro. I put it away. The snake goes away. He starts slithering away, and I'm like, where are you going, my boy? Give me that room. Yeah, where you think you're going, my boy? Yeah. Oh, God, what the fuck, bro? It just spawned, like, ten dudes. My dream came true. Hang on. Give me the dudes again. Wait, what did he say? That was dodgy as fuck, bro. I'm not even going to lie. After introducing ourselves to the boys, we finally make it to our first class where we learn a new spell, and I was impressed, man. The sound effects were so good, and we get another trophy for it as well. <laughs> Ooh, bro, that snap, bro. It literally sounds like the belt when your stepdad would get it ready, bro, like to taunt you. It's like, you hear that? Look. You hear that shit? After class, we make our way to Hogsmeade, and we go into this lolly shop where we kind of monkey around. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But after we've had our fun in this shop, we make our way to the town square, and we get attacked by a troll. And again, we're a new wizard to Hogwarts. We're not a new wizard. So now's our chance to prove it. We take down the armored troll and on hard, it was still really easy. The game plays pretty much like normal on hard, um, but it's really fun. And yeah, the troll only has like four attacks. So he got rocked. We absolutely destroyed him. We hit him with the old hocus pocus, give me a trophy hocus. And that's the end of that. We thought we proved ourselves, but then we got put into a trial where we ended up using a special to get another easy trophy. After finishing our trials, we decide that it's time to return back to our studies, and this is where we meet Mrs. Garthic. Let me tell you, there's a reason she's the professor of the greenhouse. She can't just make plants grow, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. What? No, Miss Garthic, that's just my wand in my pocket, but it's definitely wanting to cast some forbidden curses. <laughs> Um, so, so with our wand fully torqued, we decide to let out some frustration and we go to the duel arena and practice some combos so that way we can become a better wizard. I'm totally still thinking about Miss Garthic, I'm gonna be honest with you. However, with our newly learned abilities, we are finally able to start using talent points. So we get a trophy for that, for making it all the way to the map chamber, which you have to do with all of the houses. But for now, we're just gonna do it with our main house, Slytherin, and we'll get the trophy for spending five talent points here as well. With the world being so massive, we then decide to take a break and just get better at our broom skills. This is going to help us navigate throughout the world as we go for more trophies. And while doing this, we even come across a miscellaneous event that Ron himself would be jealous of. Why spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Well, well. Hey, a trophy for following the butterflies. There it goes, man. When you're lost in the dark, look for the light. And I got the light Blue right box. here on my stick, baby. Got the magic stick. We then finally get to attend a beast class and learn a little bit more about the beast throughout the world. But uh, we also meet some fucking Dona, and my guy was just not having it, man. Rodan. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Yo, this is sick, bro. Look at all the shit they add in this game. 
Can you see these pigeons in here and shit, bro? What's up? What kind of dog is this, bro? Can you come out of your pen? Hey, what kind of dog is this? Yeah, I just realized we never had that class again, so I think they kicked me out. And just when I thought it couldn't get worse, Bluebird donates $15 and asks me to drop a Harry Potter freestyle. Jesus Christ. There once was a boy named Harry, destined to be a star. His parents were killed by Voldemort, which gave him a light knee scar. Ron breaks his wand, now Ginny's gone. And Harry's in mortal danger. Tom Riddle hides a snake inside his glamorous secret chamber. After that sorry excuse of a rap, we have to come back from that, so we turn in our house tokens and we get some new drip. Hey, that's pretty good. Remember when I said there was multiple trophies for making it to the map chamber with each house? Well, Robert jumped into my chat and he was saying he found a way that might make it faster. Now, normally it can take up to about an hour, 45 minutes to two hours to run all the way to the map chamber, just doing the main story quest. However, with this method, we could probably do it in about an hour. So without hesitation, we go to confirm his method and we create a new character and start our path or journey to the map chamber. You guys wanted me to do booty crumbs. It's, it's censored it, but I can do cootie crumbs if you want, man. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, well, it didn't quite work, unfortunately. So we just finished up the run with Gryffindor and then we jump back to our main character after getting the trophy. After that, we meet a Harry Deke, and honestly, probably the best Deke I've ever had. This legend goes out of his way to teach us how to catch beasts, and it's literally like Pokemon. You can catch shinies, and there's all kinds of different beasts on the map, and they have these lairs. It's, it's so sick, man. It is so sick. So uh, I got a little sidetracked and started catching some beasts. Yo, this Deke keeps getting better. He literally gives us a vivarium for us to release the beast in. And we also have a room where we can not only grow our own plants, create our own potions, but we can also upgrade our gear within this room. After we finish setting up our room and potting some plants, we take a little stroll to the Great Hall while we wait for them to grow for another trophy. What in Merlin's name were you thinking? Revelio. Pitiful attempt at a poet to bow battens. Do you realize what kind of reputational damage you've caused? For Berlin's sake! You see this guy? You see how happy he is? That's because he liked the video. He can be happy too. Hey, and we got a trophy, boys. Put down the roots for farming all of the different plants, bro. We catch wind of some poachers, and these assholes captured a dragon. So we sneak into their camp, make them super hard until they die, and it actually gave us a miscellaneous trophy. After sneaking our way in, we end up finding the dragon egg, but we still need to save the dragon, and I think I found him. Yoink. We take out the remaining poachers, and then we shoot a hole through the tent, so that way the dragon can escape. This is going to get us another trophy, but the dragon doesn't quite trust us, so it just takes off without its egg. Bye, have a great time! We decided to return back to school where we'd learn our final spell, not counting the awesome forbidden curses, of course, and we turn this ball into a pigeon. <laughs> Spoiler alert, dummy! I'm gonna go get that fucking Avada Kedavra spell. Look at this fucking door Why, now. Sebastian. Yeah, I'm gonna miss out on a one-hit kill? A goofy-ass goober? Now, one thing I really love about the game is it does the seasons, and it does it so, so well. Just look how gorgeous that is. And then we make our way to the tallest building in Hogwarts, and we get a nice view for another trophy. Shortly after, we take on an army of enemies, and we end up getting our first Deathly Hallow, which is for another trophy. We then made our way to a camp and cleared it out, and yeah, this guy just isn't really having a great day. But we got enough ingredients to create our final potion. 
With all of those knocked out of the way, we decided to do the time trials, and there's only about three of them, and all you have to do is beat the time, and yeah, you get a trophy for it. After beating the race, we go back to our vivarium, where we can collect supplies and upgrade our gear to max for another trophy. We also unlock something that we can do in the vivarium with the beasts. I didn't explain it right. Oh shit, I forgot, bro. Yo, let's go check this shit out. So we got breeding last night, right? And we're able to breed with animals. That sounded fucked. We're able to breed other animals with other animals. Am I supposed to put out the light? Nah, bro. What the fuck? Lumos. Stop. What the fuck is this, bro? Does the mannequin count as a kill, my boy? Oh, God. What is up with the camera view, bro? Oh, God. Dude, do I have to fight like this? Stop. I literally can't see. Oh, my God. What is this, dude? Jesus, fuck. That's AIDS. Dude, what a mind fuck. After clearing the Resident Evil 8 DLC, we're then able to finally learn the Avada Kedavra spell. And, uh, yeah, I was so ready for this, boys. It's been a long time coming. Avada Kedavra! With our newly learned spell, we make our way through a cave of spiders and we save a phoenix to get another trophy as part of Poppy's quest line. We then do another quest that allows us to catch a Graphorn. Now, he is caught a bit differently. You have to actually injure him down until he's subdued, and then you can catch him and use him as a mount. Now, we're going to need to come back later and catch a female, so that way we can breed them a bit later on for another trophy. And uh, for now, we'll just take the male and we'll leave. Now, there is a trophy to use your ancient magic ability on 34 different types of enemies. So as I was playing through the game, I was just trying it on every enemy possible so we can get the trophy. Now, as we approach the end of the story, I realized we're missing a few of the relationship side quests that also pop a trophy, so we smash those three out and then we go to the final boss. Thank you for but on our way to the boss, I realized we still have two more houses to make it to the map chamber for those two miscellaneous trophies. We're missing one for Hustlepuff and the other for Ravenclaw. So we go ahead and quickly smash those out. Now with that out of the way, we can make our way to the final boss and defeat him and complete the main story. Not only did we defeat the final boss, but we won the house cup. That's right, baby. Our first year in Hogwarts, got our acceptance letter, and we got the house cup. We pulled in the victory, the drippiest wizard in Hogwarts, and it gives us a nice, beautiful gold trophy. And with that, we beat the main story. So all that was left was to just do all of the miscellaneous trophies and the side objectives. And I noticed on PSN profiles, we could possibly get in the top 50 first achievers for this platinum. And I decided, why don't we push ourselves Go for the top 50, just to make it a little bit more fun. So, without further ado, boys, let's get after it. If you can't do 10K for a sweet, then I don't want to hear no chat about numbers. You and I'm my youngest. All black out like grungers. Tens and twenties and hundreds. Tens and twenties and thousands. I can't ever just loud them. On my ever is shouting. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to hogs. Shut the fuck up. So please, man, let's just be adults. And don't be flexing in my boat. Nigga, you can't test me. I'm the goat. Go, let's do this. 32, baby. Hey, level 40. Is that the another trophy too? We get two? Oh, two trophies. I'm about to bust, baby. 
Should we make it a wombo combo? Shall we? Shall we? Let's hit it with the wombo combo. You love to see it. Three. Three, baby. Love to see that shit, don't you? Because I do. Now all that was left was just getting our last bit of collectibles and flipping a cow ten times. Now when we did this, the collectibles trophy was glitched and the tracker wasn't working properly. But someone found a workaround where you can remove your PSN account from your PS5, re-sign in, and basically fix the tracker. Um, so we did that. But then, uh, yeah, the universe was against us, man. They really didn't want us to be in the top 50. I've already fixed my trophy, so my trophy won't um, glitch. I already fixed it. The tracker's working fine now. Um, I did the method that people are doing to fix it. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is going on with my PS5, dude? God, bro. Literally the PS5, man. I said it so many fucking times. I hate the UI, bro. It is so fucking... Bro, I'm not even online? What is going on? What? Bro, my shit's frozen, bro. Yeah, my shit's having a fucking aneurysm. Oh my god, dude. I literally can't get back in the fucking game, dude. I can't get back into the game. I literally can't get back in, bro. And it's because their UI is so dog shit. <sighs> Look, man, your boy was super triggered. I I've always hated the PS5 UI. It's so dog shit. Like, you look at the PS3 UI and the PS4 UI... Fuck, you look at the PS, the PS Vita, bro. The, the PS5 is just such a step down, my boy. Regardless, it is what it is. I had to unplug the system, and then we could log back in and then finally get our collectible and pop the trophy. Or at least that's what my dumbass thought. But <laughs> what an idiot. Let's go, boys. Final chest, finally. What? Trophy? Do you have to open it up, maybe? Trophy? What? What? Oh, when my PS5 crashed. Oh my god. Wow. What a pain in my fucking dick, dude actual fucking pain in my asshole well we had to do the trick yet again but we quickly did that got to 602 out of 603 and if all went well then we would finally pop our collectible trophy by grabbing this final chest and it was a miracle it actually worked we finally got the trophy guys and then i thought you know what we put a lot of hours into this a lot of late night streams and going to work with like three or four hours of sleep a night. And I felt like it was fitting to get our final trophy by making a milkshake and just taking it easy, man. Because we put in the work and now it's time to just relax. The long journey's over. That's not 10? Whew. That's 10. There it is. We get to enjoy the milkshake of spilled milk and trophy triumph. The Hogwarts Legacy Platinum Trophy is done, boys. It was a lot of streams. A lot of streams for it. But there it is, boys. 46 out of 46. Oh, feel good to be done. And that's it, guys. Platinum Trophy. I do want to thank you for your time, as always. It is very much appreciated. I hope you had a good time with me going on this adventure. And more importantly, if you're a real one who made it all the way to the end of the video... Why don't you leave a comment below that says, Professor Garthic. Other than that, guys, wait. I've got a message from Miss Garthic? But Ron, what if I can't get it up? I'm so nervous. Oh, God, you love your song. Oh, goodness, Ron, what are you... Oh. 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 Oh.